This past week, I was in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and had some really cool opportunities. For example, for the first time ever, I was able to be on the sidelines for training camp for two days, and that was really cool because it was the joint practice between the Saints and the Packers, so the energy was pretty freaking fracking high. So I was able to get a really good look at the Packers defense and offense going up against different talent besides themselves, which was really cool to see. It also led to this tan that I got. And after those two days, I was invited onto the sideline once again for the Green Bay Packers during the pregame. And honestly, that was the coolest sideline experience that I have had. I've had opportunities to go on the sideline ever since 2016. And this one was really special because obviously COVID messed up a lot of things. And, you know, they had moved us around before last year and it was kind of a smaller space. But this one, we were right next to the Packers bench. We can go all the way around to the goal lines. AJ Dillon, my dude, came over and said, hey. Buddy, great game. Great game. Oh! There was a moment that I was filming when I was on the sideline and I was looking at the players they were working out and I was panning around Lambeau and it kind of hit me. Oh, this is my job. Because I feel like a lot of the times, you know, you work incredibly hard, you, the amount of content that I'm pushing out and, you know, just the, the work that I put into it, it's easy to kind of just be like, okay, on to the next experience, on to the next experience. But it kind of just like all hit me at that moment. I was like, this is, this is what I do for a living now this is my job and like that just felt like really really good and as we're coming up on the seven year anniversary of podcast that was just something i reflected on and took in the moment um and didn't worry about filming anymore so i i really enjoyed feeling that Of course, was able to meet GM Brian Gutekunst and talk about a potential contract signing. Matt LaFleur was there. I actually wound up taking a picture with Matt LaFleur's kids as a couple of them recognized me. Then I was able to have an awesome experience being front row right behind the Packers bench, uh, which was really cool. I have never been front row on any sports event whatsoever, and I didn't know how many opportunities I was going to have to have front row seats to the Green Bay Packers at Lambeau Field. And so I jumped on that opportunity. And while I will say the NFL camera, the broadcast camera that kept moving back and forth was a little irritating, it was just really cool to basically watch a complete version of Hard Knocks for the game because you could literally could hear the players talking. So for example, like Tyler Davis, he messed up, he comes back, puts his head down, the coach starts yelling at him and is like, no, pick your effing head up, like you can't be sad. And like, it was, it was just these cool interactions. It's a second coming! Of course, we also yelled to every single player getting Gatorade, trying to figure out which flavor it was, uh, which was phenomenal. And we did get answers from multiple players. What flavor is the Gatorade, Kylan? Grape? Grape? Yeah! Yeah! I was able to interact with more fans as I was putting out pictures and they found out where I was. So I was able to take a bunch of pictures with a bunch of people. It is really cool because being in New York, you know, I've been recognized maybe a handful of times, but when I go to Green Bay, it's every day that I go out and it's still something that I am not used to. And throw on top of that, like with training camp, usually I'm in the stands, but because I was on the sideline, I wasn't able to interact with as many people. And so like the big interaction day was at the game and that was really just awesome. Even going out at the bars afterwards and just being introduced to people was really, really cool. Uh, a phenomenal trip overall, one that I will definitely not forget. Felt like kind of like a VIP for the week. Uh, and it was a nice little like uh, recharge and little reminder of just, you know, how fortunate and 
how much work I've put into this over the past seven years and uh, how it's only going to get better from here.